Hey everybody and welcome to Blue Moon Nursery. This is our propagation area where we create a lot of new plants. We have a lot of babies growing and of course on the other side is all of our animals. But today I am making fly cultures that we feed the flightless fruit flies to our dart frogs and a lot of our surface feeding fish like the minnows, the white clouds, guppies, endlers. They'll eat them things. The male endlers are a little too small to eat the full-grown flies, but they will try to bite pieces off of them. It's kind of funny. But the first thing I'm going to do, I, um, I recently switched over to using mason jars for the uh, fruit fly cultures. And this is simply because the plastic jars, they um, about a dollar and 30 cents a piece and you can only really use them one time because they're kind of flimsy they don't wash very well especially in a dishwasher and there is bacteria and things inside the substrate after a couple of weeks of fly cultures going on and you could even get some fungus in there they could be pretty nasty so I'm gonna start using the glass jars and cleaning them out in the dishwasher so that we get um, reusable fruit fly containers because you can see how how nasty they get after a couple of weeks so the first thing we're gonna do is get some of the fruit fly food from Josh's frogs we got our fruit fly media yesterday and Josh's frogs sent all, a lot of extras in the box we got some Christmas gifts we got some razors and a hundred dollar coupon off some wine that was really cool so all we need is half a cup of the um, fruit fly media and three quarters of a cup of water I use the RODI water that we use here pretty much for everything um, I'm gonna get a measuring cup and we'll get this started all right so we take half a cup of this, it's quarter cup of scoops, so I'm going to put two in here. Two in that one. Two in this one. I got a handy water machine over here that spits out hot water, so that makes this part a little bit easier. I find that sometimes um, in these deli cup jars that uh, half a cup is actually is quite a lot or the half a cup of media and three quarters of a cup of water so you just pour the um, the water right in on top of the dry mix you don't have to stir it or anything you can if you want to but it's not really necessary as long as the water is sufficiently hot enough it will get all the way down to the bottom One thing you want to make a note on when using these glass jars, um, mason jars are usually pretty sturdy, but if you happen to be using a cheaper jar, or if your mason jars are really cold, warm them up a little bit before pouring boiling water into them. Run them under the sink in the hot water so that they don't crack or break when you add the boiling water. Okay, so the only thing we got to do after we add this fruit fly and media and the water and just wait for them to cool for a few minutes and then we'll add the excelsior all right and we're back and our fly jars have cooled off enough that we can add some excelsior excelsior is just wood wood shavings it gives a place for the 
flies in the jars to walk around at so that they're not all just walking around on top of the substrate or the media. That stuff, uh, it's kind of sticky. It's going to have larva crawling around in it and the adult flies are going to want to place away from that where they can start breeding at and hanging out. So what we're doing is just stuffing a little bit into the jar. It doesn't take a whole lot. This stuff can be a little bit of a pain to get apart and you'll make a little bit of a mess so just be aware that it doesn't pull apart very easily. It's pretty sturdy. Okay, so get that in there. A little bit more. You don't want it poking out of the top because then it'll be hard to close your jar. Okay, and then for these mason jars, what I'm gonna do is just take a regular coffee filter. I'm gonna double it up just in case. I'm going to take the center part out of the mason jar lid and just put the ring on. And that way, air can still get in there. The flies will be able to breathe. So here is some of our old flies. I'm going to go ahead and knock them down into the bottom. put about a hundred of them in there. Now they are going to try to jump out all over the place so you try to do this as fast as you can so that as few of them escape as possible. Alright, there we go. <laughs> They're crawling all over my phone. So now we have a completed fruit fly culture and in about 14 days, this will start producing flies, and it will produce flies for about three weeks. And that helps give us some really nutritious live food for our dark frogs and for some of our fish. I know my bait is really like them. Boy, I'm making a mess. I got flies everywhere. It's a good thing the goldfish pond is right next to me so that they can eat some of them. Okay. There we go. Of two fruit fly cultures ready for <coughs> the fruit, fro fruit the froggies and the fish. For next week well a couple weeks from now the current cultures i have will last a couple more weeks hopefully well thanks for watching you guys have a great day